Hey guys, welcome back to GR's Book Nook. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today we're going to be doing a vlog on harvesting different vegetables in the vegetable garden. And these are a glimpse of them. Continue to see more. First, we're going to be harvesting one of the many chili peppers in the vegetable garden called the banana peppers. Wow, look at these banana peppers. They are so big. I could eat these any day. They will be so tasty. Hold on. Look at this one. That's the third one for this plant. This plant has two peppers instead, but that is still fine. They are all very delicious and tasty. Add that to the group. Look at that. So nice. I just moved to the other side, and this plant has so many. I think it has about four, which is crazy. This one's kind of long. Let's see. This one is also pretty good. This bottom one should be nice. Look at that. Great size. The last one. The best out of all. Perfect. This one was a little bit hard to reach because it's all the way in the back here, but it is still worth it because it is so big. Let me show you guys. Look at this. Probably the biggest one we cut so far. It is ginormous. That's why there's only one growing on that plant, but there's more to come. Now that we cut the yellow banana chili peppers, like they normally are, we're gonna get into the other ones, which are very, very similar, but they're just a different color. As you can see, it's pretty hard to see, but it is definitely worth it. Let's just cut it really quick. Look at this. Look at the size. Imagine how much is in this pepper. Again, it is very similar to a banana pepper, but it is green. So I'm gonna continue cutting the green ones. There's only two more, but that is fine. Honestly, we have a lot already, but let's just take these two also. Great size on this one also. Another one here. It's really hard to see because it blends in with the leaves. It's still really worth it. Nice medium size here. Let's go on. Here we continue on with the chili pepper journey. So, we have another pepper which is very spicy and it is pretty much just called a spicy chili pepper there are red ones and green ones and overall they're very tasty and my mom likes to call them pochi which is another name in Sinhalese so let's get um, to cutting them They are very small and delicate and hard to cut. As you can see, we caught one. Very small, but extremely spicy, yet tasty at the same time. Sometimes you gotta be careful not to cut the plant. Like, look at this, look how small it was. A few hiding back here, there's two of them. So nice. And the last one here for the red kind. This one's a little mushy, but it'll still work. These are the more non-ripe ones, but still some of them are good enough to eat and we don't really need to wait. But the red is the perfect time and perfect color to eat them. But we're just gonna pick a few little green chili peppers. Kochi. Here you can see, very small, but still delicious. 
just like these peppers, it is very, very hot today, so, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna continue on with these little chili peppers down here. I don't know if you can see them properly, but I'll just show you after I cut them. Here we have a little, really little red one. Kinda have to be color to color here because, um, got a green one right here. In. Got another red. There's two more. This one is really nice. And there's one more. It is very, very small, but it is red. I don't know if this is uh, good enough to eat, but we'll just put it in there for the time being. I don't really know what there's much to say here. I'm just gonna continue cutting these red peppers right here, like so, like this. Let's cut another green one from here. There we go. This is a different kind of pepper. It is not as spicy as kochi or the other peppers we just cut. But it is pretty similar to a cayenne pepper if you want more context. And it is really nice to eat in different mixes and curries that we eat during dinner time. So I'm just lifting it up here so you guys can see it better. It is blending in really well with the green. So I just want to do that. Let's cut it here. Look at how long it is. It is so nice. Definitely a good juicy pepper to eat during dinner. As you can see so far, we've cut a lot of pepper, banana peppers, other type of banana peppers that are green, so nice, similar to cayenne peppers. We've cut a lot of these kochi or very spicy hot uh, chili peppers. And um, yeah, we're gonna continue going. Next is gonna be like peas in a pod sort of vegetable. So, Actually, it's not really beans in a pod. I mean, peas in a pod. It is actually yellow beans, if you can see it properly. Let me just pull one out for you. Look at that. Very nice beans there. Really, really good. And if we come over here, you can see that there are actually some purple kinds. Like, look at this one can easily be harvested and are very tasty. Now I'm just gonna harvest them like so. Look at that. It's one down. There is a lot. There's like at least 20 to 30 because they grow like together, at least like five in one. So it is really worth planting them because you get a lot of result from one plant at a time, and they all grow together, which is the good part. This one's really, really small, so I'm not gonna cut that one yet. So is this one. Like you can see, this is prime time right here. I don't know if you guys can probably see that. It is really blended in, but that is like, it just started growing. Now, I don't know if you can see these, but I'm just gonna cut these little ones over here, like so. And then down here also. Like this. And then we go all the way in the back. Not really, but here where I demonstrated them in the beginning. Here we have a lot. So that is one. There is, look at this. There's so many. I just got two in one. That one was really big. Just a couple more down here. I 
don't know if I'm gonna cut this one yet. I'm just gonna let it sit there for a couple more days, just because it, of the size, but this one is definitely ready to go. There we go. These are a little bit of a far reach, so my mom is actually cutting them for me, but as you can see, there is a lot for them to do, and she's really good at it, so that's why she knows the proper techniques to get a lot at once, and there we go. Now, we're gonna start harvesting the purple ones. Now, this is really hard to see, but here's one. They look very, very, very nice. There are a couple of them hiding back here, so I'm just gonna cut them. Look at that. These two. Then, let's look over here. Oh, look at these. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. We have three. And let's get one, one or two more. I think should be good. Here we have one. Here's a second one. So this is the other side, or the other garden, where we grow a lot more vegetables, things like tomatoes, and cucumbers, and believe it or not, more beans. So we're gonna be cutting them. They were in pots this time instead of going on my platforms. So they're very hidden by the leaves, but you can see there's so much to be cut. So let's quickly do these. Let's get them in one. This. Put these in the basket. And we got over here. Those are There's much more shady over here, but we ended up getting a lot. That last clip kind of cut back a little bit, but now my mom's gonna do it a little bit faster. She is getting all of them. They're very hidden behind the leaves, but that is all right. Still pretty easy to cut. It is just on a very thin piece of vine. As you can see here, look at that. It's wonderful. And the trick is to cut many and hold them in your hand and then you put a lot at once. So there's a lot to look for. Look at down here. Look at that. Look how many she has in her hand. That is just phenomenal. So as I was talking about earlier about how there is a lot of different vegetables, I really mean it. Here we have a special type of vegetable that is also used in different foods. This is a glorious cucumber followed by another cucumber followed by another cucumber. This cucumber plant has given us so many cucumbers, you don't even know. That is really good. And if we come back here, see that there are some tomatoes and there are tomatoes on the other side also but that will be in a different video if you guys can check that out in the evening all right guys it got pretty hot outside so we decided to end it there we 
ended up picking a lot of different banana peppers, beans, and chili peppers. So it ended up to be a very successful harvest. There is much more to come in the next video. We will be picking a lot of more different vegetables and a delicious dish will be made with all of these different peppers and beans that we picked today. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so that was the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with the like, subscribe for more, and a lot of more vlogs will definitely be coming your way. And if you really like this one, one will probably be coming later on, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much, and I appreciate all the love that you guys have been showing me so far. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next vlog or video. Have a great day. Bye, guys.